<sighs> Let me have a sip of coffee. Alright, hoi! What's up guys and welcome to a new update video. I want to make mainly a video about Instagram, why my account got deleted or disabled and how you could avoid that in the future. So I think on December 25th my Instagram account got disabled but I didn't know why so they didn't give me an explanation. There simply was written your account got disabled due violating our terms and if I want to restore my account I had to message the Instagram team to clarify that I am the user of that account so I had to send my username the name of myself so Jakob Gartner and a number on it and then make a photo of it so that they see I'm the user of this account so that's exactly what I did I think uh, six or seven times I did it over the course of this month so over January I tried to do that but I didn't receive any response because they probably get a lot of requests so I understand that but now I received finally something not in form of an email but yeah if I want to log into my account and if I view the violating terms, then I actually can see them. And there's written, I will put it on the screen. Your account has been disabled for not following our terms. You won't be able to log into this account and no one else will be able to see it. Some of the things we don't allow include artificially collecting likes, followers or shares, posting repetitive content or repeatedly contacting people for commercial purposes without their consent. If you think this was a mistake, please let us know. And if I click onto the link by let us know then it gives me a formula where I can fill the things out that I said before. So my name, my email address and why I am the user of that account or to clarify that I'm the user of the account. And as soon as I've written that I realized it was my mistake because I think four or three years ago I logged into a third party app where you can see your followers who followed and unfollowed you and I think yeah three years ago so 2000. 18 when I came back from Australia I remember that I bought a few followers I think roughly 100 200 so not more because I wanted to reach 1000 followers I think and at that time I had eight nine hundred something like that and I remember when I started YouTube so in the beginning of 2021 or at the end of 2020 I wasn't sure which Instagram I should use because I remembered that I did that and I feared a little bit that that could happen but I thought if I don't do it again then nothing will happen because I would get disabled probably soon after doing that and if it's over a year or over two years now I think I'm safe so because I changed my password I locked out of this third party app and I never used it again but maybe it's karma maybe they found about it two years later I don't know but my message with this video is more that don't use third-party apps for Instagram or don't collect likes or followers because it only backfires because first they are not real followers so they aren't engaging with your content and ghost followers or I don't know how you call them maybe I will write it down aren't getting you anywhere because yeah it's important that they engage with your content that they like and comment your content and if they don't do that then you don't have any benefit of it except the number of your followers is higher sure I can say now it's a little unfair because I know a lot of people that bought so many likes and nothing happened or celebrities hotels and stuff like that businesses and I only bought 100 200 followers one time and now I get punished for that but that's okay it was my mistake I own it and what I'm basically doing now is I'm using my backup account Sonyaki so I will start post there we'll try to regain some followers I will link the account down in the comment section so you can follow it if you want it would be a huge help for me and I will use a stoic principle from Marcus Aurelius so what comes in the way becomes the way but now I have to close the curtain a little bit because the sun is shining on my face Alright, now it's better, it's a little dark, but better than having a bright face. <laughs> but another thing I want to say is, I'm currently not feeling so well. The last four days I was always in contact with a person that got their own Irona. So they got tested positive the last few days, and I was doing a test now every single day. I was always negative, so up to date I didn't get the virus, or I think I didn't got it. I never made a antibody test, so I don't know it for sure. Maybe it will change because 
because now it's Wednesday, the video will be uploaded on Sunday. So maybe I got positive in that time, but yeah, I had headache the last few days. Yesterday it was the worst, especially after doing a leg day, but now it's getting a little bit better. I think the coffee is helping me, so therefore I will have a calm day. I will try to get some fresh air, some sunlight, because I really want to finish my mini cut, because I'm in the last week of my mini cut and I progressed very well. I lost around three kilograms so it went exactly as planned so that's good so I hope I can finish the week as planned and if not it's also okay but yeah I think that's it now you will see some footage of Rhein in Taufers so Riva in Tours it's called in Italian I was there with Goji and a friend of him I think two weeks ago and we tried to go to the Knutten arm so the hut Knutten but it was so damn cold but you will see everything on the video so thanks for tuning in as I said before it would be a huge help if you follow my new account Sonyaki with free eyes but I will link it down in the comments and I hope you're doing better than me in terms of help and headache <laughs> but I'm pretty sure everything will be fine we will see us in the next video and that will be a funny one because it's about me going skiing so stay tuned for that but now let's head to Rhine